Kirby are on a conversation about family and how to work together, you can create a lot more income, build your businesses a lot more. So we decided why not just record this. But Kirby, you were you were making a point. Go ahead. Well, yeah. So the the truth of, the truth of it is is parents today ain't shit. And I ain't talking about the ones that just becoming parents today. I'm talking about the ones before them. Parents ain't shit. And then the kids want to be gone so fast that because, of course, the parent got their thumb on their kid the whole time. They just no, you can't do this. No, you can't do this. So kids can't wait to get out the house to go live on their own. They don't know the financial ramifications of living on your own, but they ready to go. Of course, the parents probably had the kids at a young age, so they still trying to go live their best life. So hurry up, get out here so I can go do my thing. And that's what stunts the growth in the family. And again, like I said earlier, before we started this recording, the immigrants are coming to this country running circles around Americans. But then we get mad because they run in circles, they creating businesses, they bringing in money. And then we've been here for, for a millennia and we still ain't got shit to show for. That is the true reality of what's going on. People don't understand the fight. The family dynamic is key. But in America, everybody want to be individuals. Everybody want to do their own thing. Everybody want to, oh, I want to go make money so I can do what I want to do. But it starts in the household. The reason why kids want to leave so fast is because parents want to control control life. But the parents ain't got no damn sense in the first place. You know, they had their kids young. And then now, oh, if we get them out of the house, then I can go I can go travel and I can go do whatever. But the truth is, when the kids leave the house, they're going to lose all their uh, child tax credits and they ain't going to have no money in the first damn place because they're going to finally start paying taxes. And then they're screwed. Yeah. And then the kids repeat the cycle, repeat the cycle because nobody's ever taught. Like, I'm over here, I'm over here telling my kids, like, oh, what's your plan when you when you leave out? They said, leave. <laughs> leave. I ain't leaving ever. <laughs> But that's what that's what the immigrants understand. They understand the family dynamic is what's going to create wealth, not individualism. Right. You can individually create stuff, but if you bring it into the nucleus and everybody grows together, but everybody has to be working toward the same goal. It can't be, oh, I just want to go work and I want to go party and club. I want to be like the next YouTube star. It's everybody's doing their own individual thing, bringing it to a nucleus and everybody's growing and they're making sure everybody's taken care of. That's how the immigrants are passing us by leaps and bounds in the United States. And then we get mad that we want to blame, oh, because they don't have to pay taxes. Taxes ain't the reason why you broke. Your spending is the reason why you broke. Your and your individuality is the reason why you broke. It ain't got nothing to do with no tax. Because right. let's tell the truth. The bottom 60% of income earners pay zero in taxes. Zero. 96% of the taxes are paid by the top 25% of income earners. Not the bottom 75%. So if you're in the bottom 60% of income earners, you damn sure ain't paying the taxes. So y'all can miss me with all that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's something, especially I see, like, say, from coming from my family where, man, if they watch this, they'll probably shoot me too. But it's true. It's just my family, let's say they're Puerto Rican, right? And, you know, as much as they want to say, you know, we're Hispanic, we're Latino, whatever. The culture is so different because it's been so Americanized. And that's what I see with my family as far as we might have get togethers, but in terms of finances, in terms of, you know, what activities we're doing, everything is separate. Every family under our family, whether it's uncles, cousins, all that, they're all doing their own thing. Whereas in my wife's family, where they're from Venezuela, Colombia, they're very unified and then even people that they grew up with you know i know say they're they're they grew up with like one of the neighbors that they grew up with since birth basically has his own company here in the u.s and his whole family works in that company and we've talked about it and they've been able to scale that company from you know an initial investment of $60,000 to now the company's making 30 million a year in profit. And so it's like the whole family works together towards that goal, towards building that up. And it's a very different culture when you see immigrants, when you see Hispanics in that aspect, you know, that come from different countries and see the opportunity here and take advantage of it rather than just falling into a system and just, you know, 
blindlessly just walking through life because that's you know what they're used to or whatever in America. And most of Americans that don't leave the don't leave the country, they don't know how much all the other countries just laugh at them, because it's funny to sit there, especially coming from another country, maybe even a third world country, and you watch the news, the CNN, the Fox. And then you see U.S. citizens sitting here complaining, complaining about what they don't have, what they need, what benefits they need, or what they can't do, and why their family is in poverty. And it's people outside, majority of the people outside the country are looking and saying, if we had that opportunity to go to America with the opportunity they provide, then we wouldn't have these issues at all. And again, that's why when immigrants come here, no matter if they're legal or illegal, they run laps literally run laps around the people that's been born here and been here 365 because they understand they have something that american people don't have that don't have they understand that the family dynamic is more important than anything is more important like the family dynamic is about legacy it's about bloodline it's about it's about so much and that's why i mean let's just use my in-laws for instance Man lost came from Albania. They showed up to America with maybe two nickels in their pocket. And they grinded as a unit. The wife worked. The kids worked. Everybody worked. Everybody brought the money into the house. Then they made decisions to what's best for the family. And then as they got older, as they got older, as they got older, then now fast forward they have they have a house paid off most of americans that's been here since they was born can't even pay off a house they have excess funds to do other things with to invest to build businesses to do what have you that's the dynamic everybody wants to be oh i want to leave so nobody can tell me what to do yeah, and then you perpetu you keep the cycle rolling. The next thing you know, you're still sitting there with nothing. Now, you didn't raise your kids like your parents raised you. And then now your kids is out there with nothing. And that's why when I say in my family, investment is not an option. Investment is mandatory. And when I say mandatory is when the paycheck land, investment first, you can go fiddle faddle and do whatever you want to do after everything else. But investment is first. And then is invest to keep adding on to what's already been created. Not to go do your own individual thing and be, oh, look at me over here. I outshine my father. And that's a, that's another dynamic in America. Most heroes in America are not in the household. Out of the country, most heroes out of the country are in the household. And what I mean by that is you know, it's nothing wrong with LeBron James. I'm not saying nothing bad about him, but a lot of kids look up to LeBron James because the father's not in the household or the father's not just doing nothing at all. But if you go to the Greeces of the world, the Albanians of the world, the third countries of the world, these kids' heroes are their fathers. These women heroes are their mothers. They actually appreciate and respect and worship the ground that these parents walked on and believe that the parents are going to give them the information that will you know grow the family not grow them individually grow the family that is the biggest dynamic difference between americans and everybody else and that's why until that change which i never think will in america because everybody want to preach individuality all the time that will be the demise of Americans. And that's why immigrants will come here and keep outshining them by a landslide. It ain't even close. They outshine them by a landslide. So the the family dynamic is something that people don't appreciate. They don't take for granted. Cause just let's just say for instance, Alex. Let's say, well, I'm I'm older, so I gotta say, so I'm the big brother, you the little brother. You know, me and you, we get married. You know, we get married to the wives we have now. And then, you know, I got my bad kids. You, you're going to have some bad kids soon. <laughs> but, um, 
just think of how much bigger our portfolios would be if we just said, hey, we're just going to combine it, everything together and just push it. Right. Just think of it. And then, you know, you start adding in, adding in aunties, uncles, cousins, nephews, all those other dynamics they you know they probably got their own niche but it's all being a nucleus and then we can use that and just buy assets around and then we live off the assets let's think of that that it's a crazy thing that nobody thinks about because everybody want to do their own thing so they go from combining their funds and probably making three four hundred thousand dollars a year combined to working minimum wage at mcdonald's and wondering why they don't have shit you don't have it because you you wanted to move. You want to leave mom house when you were 16, 17 years old. You ain't had no financial literacy in the first place. So the first time you get a get a one paycheck, you want a cell phone, a car, and you want to you want to get your own apartment. You want to go get credit cards and you want to buy what you want because you don't want nobody to tell you what to do. And then because nobody told you what to do and you're doing your own thing, you end up repeating the cycle of everybody before you. And then you wonder what happened. So then you blame the government, then you blame immigrants, and you blame anybody but yourself. But the real problem is yourself. The real problem is the parents before you. The real problem is you decided or your family decided that individuality was more important than what's in the family's name. And everybody screamed family, but everybody's an individual inside the family. So y'all, y'all might as well be strangers. And it always go back to that conversation we always had when I first met you. It's the family dynamic is crazy here, and there, nobody don't see it. And the crazy part, most people don't see it until you're trying to elevate yourself above what everybody is in the family doing. That's when you see it all. But when you're down there in the weeds and everybody's doing the same, you never get to see it. But the family dynamic in America is fucking retarded. So let me say, guys, let us know how it is in your family. Uh, don't forget to share, like the video, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.